I'm Verity. And I'm Grace. I'm in ninth grade and I'm going through world literature this year. I'm going through the book independently and one of my favorite stories that we studied was Romeo and Juliet. I read all of Romeo and Juliet and I was able to answer the questions with my mom. At the end of each act, I wrote in my own words a synopsis of each act. I ended the lesson by writing an essay about what true love looks like. Each lesson takes me 20 to 25 minutes to finish, depending on how much writing I have to do. So I took world literature in a classroom setting, so I wasn't just doing it by myself. And that was really cool because I got to discuss with all the other students and I got to learn a bunch of things from other people. I look forward to doing American literature and then after that British literature. When you study British literature, it will walk you through the three main literary periods, Victorian, Romantic, and Modern. When you study American literature, you will be reading short stories, three novels by famous American authors, and you will be studying American poetry by major American poets. Last year, I completed Literary Criticism, which strongly focuses on writing and reading analysis. I got to read a lot of short stories and essays and novels, and I learned how to write five paragraph essays, five page essays, and ten page essays and it was a really cool experience. Taking literary criticism really helped prepare me for college because I'm taking composition one and two now and this, taking this curriculum put me like a whole jump ahead of everybody else because I, I knew how to write when I went into the classes. <laughs> when we read the works in the book, it was split up into four different sections that we studied and that's how we learned like how to concentrate and on how to write on write about things. We read things through a reader response view where we just look read, we just read it and then wrote how we felt about it. We focused on the author, like researching their background beforehand and understanding why they wrote what they wrote and what it meant to them. And we also studied things through the culture of the time, the what history, what was going on in the world. And we also looked at it through a society viewpoint about what was going on. And the last section, we focused on the work, which was just analyzing the piece itself and the specific words that the author used. And that was my favorite section because I got to write a paper on Annabelle Lee by Edgar Allan Poe. And that was really fun because I got to break it down and explain why it's so creepy. And that was really interesting to me. <laughs> If you would like to learn more, go to commonsensepress.com. You can find sample lessons and more information.